Hi everybody, um, I thought I would show you what I meant by using tape instead of paper to, excuse the noise that's making, to bind your album with. I find it much quicker and easier to do it this way. And um, because I live in Queensland on the Sunshine State, we have very, very humid weather and it's a nightmare to get tape your score tape and your glue to stick. I use both, um, just to be absolutely certain, on pages and everything. However, on the front cover, this is what I like to do. I'm going to show you, let me see. I do hope that you can see this. This is nine and a half, not quite actually. So nine and a half by seven and a half. And the spine is two and a half by seven and a half. So that's what I'm going to work with. I thought I might jump into some of my six by six paper pads. Um, and I thought, right, instead of just using black on black, which is so hard for you to see, I'm going to do a Christmas album at some stage. So this will become the um, album for it. So I've got this, it's cloth tape. I buy it from a local, um, like a local DIY place, Bunnings, and it's $6.50 for this big reel. They do do gold, and I can't find my gold that I've got here anywhere, which is typical, isn't it? Uh, so this is tan, but I think it's going to be ideal for the Christmas one. They do silver, they do black, and those are the only colors that I would ever use myself. But obviously, if you wanted to go all out and use other colours, then, you know, that's, that's what you do. So this is what I do. As you can see, it comes off very easily. I just, and it does stick to your fingers, something dreadful. Can you see this? Do I need to come up a little bit? It's very difficult to know. Right, there we are. So I'm going to roughly gauge where I want that to be. So, and whoops, come off. I want this to have be on each part, if you know what I mean. I'm going to show you rather than get off my fingers, rather than confuse you <laughs> or myself. Right, just cut across again. If it folds over on itself, you'll never unstick it. You need to cut it off and start again. So, what I'm going to do is put this guy down first. Can you see how that is sticking to my fingers? Right, I don't worry about it being straight or anything like that because of course I'm gonna put some paper over the top, but I like to try my best to get it somewhere like that, okay? Now you're going to leave a gap so that it can fold. I do this by eye, I don't measure if I don't have to. I want a good gap because I want to look, put plenty of photos and things in. So that's that. You can see, I'll just bring that down, secure it, bring that up and secure it. And then I will do the same for this other one. I will, oh, get off, get off. Just put a little bit of the spine on because I want more on the main piece. So. Just again, just go by eye. You're fine, you can do it. Like so. Press that down and then that and that. Right, now what I will do is I'll just make the indentation there so that it's a natural thing. And when you lift it up and you do this, you've got that, obviously. You're going to cover this area, and so don't worry if you've got a gap in the middle. It really, really doesn't matter. This you will either cover, or you will come up to the edge, depending on how you like it. Now I'm going to just burnish it a little bit on this side to make sure that it doesn't go bubbly. And then, I mean, that couldn't be simpler. And then what I do is I just go around the edges with my tape to finish it off. So I will try and show you if I'm still in shot. Who knows? I'm so short 
and to have this camera above me, um, I have no idea what you're seeing. <laughs> I'm hoping this isn't one that I've got to record three times because then I will have three spare. Now see, that's a little bit short, I think. Yes, so oh, that's okay. I'll just use it on the ends first. I'll just go to here. Waste not, want not. And cut that off. If you can ever get it to part with you. And then I'll bring you back up here and then you just fold. Go from the middle and give it a good tug. Get off me. <laughs> and then just make sure there's no air bubbles. Bring it to the end. Turn it over and that's that. And what I do is I pinch along here and then I just use my scissors and I cut it off. And as I say, this is instead of covering it all in paper, etc., etc. I don't have much luck with paper. My paper always cracks on the spine and it always frustrated me because, you know, you go to a lot of time and trouble with your albums and if it then cracks on the spine and you've got to cover it up, you kind of feel like you've failed. So when I saw this method using different tape for this, but we can't get the tape that you have in other countries here. So this was the best thing for me. So here we are using it on here. Right. And again, I'll flip it over and just check. It's not straight doesn't matter in the least it really doesn't matter because what matters is how you cover it with your nice designer papers so let's get this one give it a good pinch and then seal it down so then all i'm left to do is the long side so as you can see this is much much quicker than if i was covering it all in paper and getting very frustrated when it cracks. So I will continue to use this method even when I see something that I like with paper because I know I don't like doing it that way and why put yourself through it if you don't have to? Now, because I've done those edges first, uh, shall I come to the edge? No, I won't, no, I won't. I'll, I'll still come to there. And as you can see, I'm just laying it onto the tape and then letting the tape do the work. This big long one, you do need to go from the centre and just pull it up as tight as you can so that you've got a nice good grip on there. That's it. And this side. And if you do get a, a crease, just release it and pull it again. There we are. That's it, okay, and across this way. It's really only covering your, let's see if I can get that one out without taking it up. Probably, there you go, see? So nice to work with. And as I say, it's only cloth, it's called cloth tape. I wouldn't use any other tape. I wouldn't use the duct tape because that is just plasticky and horrible. This has some stirred sturdiness to it, so that's good. That's the outside. Of course, you know, I'm now going to have to make a uh, an album, aren't I, to finish this off and then show you the end product. But as it's all Christmas in July at the moment, that won't be a problem. Right, last one. Exactly the same. You get quite a few covers out of this one roll as well. As I say, I mainly use black. I, I do like to use black on most things because it, it you know, it, it goes with everything. But it is nice to have a change. So, come here off my scissors. Right. I might bring this one down a little bit more. There we are. Oh, I'll start in the middle as I should do because otherwise if I don't start in the middle it'll all go wonky and you'll wonder what I'm bothering for. <laughs> there we are. And yes, you do have um, 
a couple of layers here, but it doesn't matter. You would have had that with cardstock anyway. Um, and this isn't as thick as cardstock. Let's pinch that before I do this part. And because I've gone on top of two, I'm not going to keep pulling it up because I stand the risk of getting a, an ugly crease that I won't be able to get out. And I don't want that. So I will just use my bone folder gently and do that. Crease that with my thumb. And then, whoops, cut the ends off. Yes, I've done that. Right. So that's your book now ready to use. Now I picked out some, I just went into my six by six pile just to see. I thought, oh, okay. Now, I quite like the fact that um, Kaiser Craft went from six to six and a half, because that does give you a bit more to play with. Let's just pull one out, and I'll show you what I mean. You can put this right up to here, if that was a full sheet of your design that you wanted. Let me crease that properly. Or you can just go from there, and then put another piece there. I probably will use 12 by 12, for the outside and cut it down. But on the pages that go on the inside here, here's the thing that goes, hey, that's your, um, oh, what's this called? I can't remember. Okay, I'm not gonna try to remember and then it will come into my head. That goes there and your pages, I, I like to use the tunnel method. So you put that tape on there you then put that on top, obviously taking the tape off, and then this sits over these. And then you've also got a channel at this end as well if you want to put a big mat in there. But as I'm using, um, I might not actually use six by six papers thinking about it because it could be a pain. But then saying that, not necessarily. If I had um, a six by six, can you see this? A six by six page like that. I could also add, um, let's say this, I could add a pocket, probably I would add the pocket this side. So I could then put a contrast in on the pocket and that would fill these pages up nicely and use your six by sixes. If you're anything like me, you've got a whole heap of those pads that need using up. I hope that was okay and I hope you enjoyed watching that and it explains what I meant when I said I prefer to use tape. Very often I will use on this um, edge here um, over the top of this uh, a faux leather um, that looks really nice but I won't on this one because it's just a, a, like a, a little Christmas one so it'll have some Christmas paper going along there like that. So, hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.